Look at that. That's a double hookup. That's a red in a spec. All right, so real fast, I'm just going to cut in here. You know, typically I don't do this. I kind of let the video and the day uh, set the timeline out of what's going on and kind of show you what is going on and my fishing trip through my video. But in this case, I'm just going to cut it real short. You know, I was fish. I fish drop-offs. I fish drains. I fish bins. I fish all those telltale signs where those hot zones if you will where i find predator fish and at this particular location that i fished a couple times i i fished a couple of those points where i knew there where i had success last time catching some reds now the winds were the winds were very strong they're about 15 17 miles an hour winds and they're going to be gusting somewhere around 20. it's been like that all week so I was just in a hurry. I had a real short window. We had storms that were popping up all over the place. So I just wanted to get in and out before the weather moved in. And unfortunately, I couldn't find the fish. I really couldn't find them. Couldn't see. Didn't see any blow-ups. I didn't see any bait chase. I saw tons and tons and tons of mullet. I mean, there was mullets everywhere. But a lot of times when you have that huge population of mullet and you're seeing a lot of mullet, that's when I start looking for the other bait. I'm looking for anything else but big mullets. I'm looking for a little shrimp. I'm looking for a shad. I'm even looking for little schooling mullets. I'm looking for anything different than those big, huge mullets because typically, and from my experience, that's where I'm going to find the fish. And this is no exception. I pushed myself hard. I went far. Lucky for me, I was able to run into some birds that were working under some shrimp. I see a lot of birds over there working. They're diving and diving. Those birds were working on bait. I didn't see anybody feeding them, so I knew I had to hurry up and get over there before the bait broke up and be before the birds were gone. Oh. Oh. Dang it. Somebody hit it. Oh. Scare the school. Keep them out of it as much as possible. Don't want to disturb what they have going on. Yep, he got it. Look at that. That's a double hookup. That's a red and a speck. Uh, look at that guy. Uh, that is a double. That is a double hookup. Red in a spec. How about that? That is funny. Nice little speckler. He's undersized. Keep quiet. Little speck. Right here though. So I get another one out here. See where he's at. Oh, don't grab that ribbon. 21 and a half. 21 and a half inch red. I'll let that guy go. Hopefully, catch him again in a second. Ah, get another one. As soon as hit the water. Don't hit the water. Don't want to scare the birds because the birds are showing me where the where the school is. So I don't want to scare the birds. Ah, missed him again. There he is right there. Yep, they're getting shrimp. I just saw it pop up. Oh, look at that. Double, double dinks. That's fun. It's just fun. Get my, get my rod in there. That's fun. Good time, good times. Get that one off.
good one. Oh, this is a red. This one I don't want. This is red. And he's gonna pull me right through where that. Where I caught that speck at, too. Oh. This is what I want. Rudder turned the wrong way. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Don't go on my rudder. Come on, guy. Come on. There we go. He's heavier. that trout and I threw it right back where that trout was and I got this guy so that's always fun that's outstanding I don't know what I was hoping for just again just dragging my lure on bottom although we're only like in three foot a lot of times those trout will be on top and the reds will be underneath the trout guys that's gonna be it you know I had a really good time out here you know I spend I don't know maybe about maybe about five hours in the water day kind of a short day today and I knew it was gonna be like I said we have weather systems all around us we have you know pretty strong wind that is going is coming and going especially with these little these little pop-up storms but um, I had a good time you know I was lucky enough to get on the fish I ran through and saw some birds working and they were working they were working in on top of some shrimp and a lot of times you have the specks on top that are diving in that top water column and then you have reds underneath now i was only about three foot so it's kind of tricky to get to get out of that line uh get away from the specks and get down into where the reds might be i was lucky enough to get a couple reds and a handful of handful of specks and hope you had a good time watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet push that bell notification it will let you know the next time i upload a video so you can keep an eye out for the next one and get the notification that hey ruben just dropped another video get on there watch it immediately you're gonna miss out of all the great action and the stuff that's going on all right not really but thanks again don't forget to like comment subscribe share until next time i hope you catch me hooking up